Route 115, there are three areas in this. There's the one I'm standing on right now with that beach and everything, and the item, which is a super potion, okay? There's uh, the other area, which is up that ledge that I can't go up yet. It requires a huge detour through uh, Fall Arbor, the Meteor Falls, and uh, that, oh, that whole area. Okay, and... Okay, time-saving tunnel is cancelled, apparently! Yeah, the story behind this is that uh, the drilling... Uh, well, I wouldn't say that it endangered the Pokémon that live inside, but it definitely startled them, and unfortunately for the workers, this is the one species of Pokémon you do not want to startle. Because there are Whismers in, uh, in that cave, and Whismur is a Pokémon that is usually very silent, but when startled by uh, loud sounds, it's going to start crying really loudly, and um, when it cries loudly, of course, it startles other Whismur in the, ver in the vicinity, and you get the idea now, this is a whole chain reaction that you do not want to create. Now, the sad thing about this tunnel is that it was really, really almost complete. I am, in fact, am going to finish it later on in the game when I get Rock Smash, because really, that's all that's needed to complete that tunnel. So how did any of the workers not think about it? That's stupid! Yeah, Pokémon World, incompetence, yada yada yada. But anyways, I was talking about the three areas in Route 115 before I was interrupted by this train of thought. And don't worry, I know how to count. There really are three areas. The third area, you have to surf up from where the Super Potion was, and you get to a brand new area where you can catch stuff like, for example, I think Jigglypuff is there, for instance. So it's not a completely wasted trip. There are a few trainers there as well for the experience. But you need Surf for that. And to beat Surf, you need to beat Norman. And to beat Norman, you need to beat the first four gyms because he wouldn't let me take him on. Okay, bug Pokemon evolve quickly so they get strong quickly too. But in the case of the level 10 bugs, which is what I'm assuming he was talking about, they get crappy just as quickly too. When they reach level 16 or 17, they start getting um, out out everything in fact by the other Pokemon and out everything I think I just invented a new verb just wonderful so yeah there was something that came in the news today that I really wanted to talk about and it's that you know there there's some merchandise surrounding oh stun spar ass ass Oh, okay, 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 I'll stop, but I definitely want to win that battle so I can at least go back and... Oh, Confusion Hacks, that's neat, and is it going to make a difference? Nope, doesn't look like it, so I just want to backtrack and heal myself at the Respiro Pokemon Center, absorb... Oh, come on, please, let me attack, I don't want full paralysis, please! Paralysis! Paralysis! Sorry! And, indeed, I cursed myself by mispronouncing it again. I don't know why that word is giving me so much freaking trouble. And it makes me angry in a way. But, yeah, that merchandise that came out today, well, there, there, there are only question marks uh, for those Pokémon, because they are Pokémon, in fact. But, you know, in the first, I don't remember what it was, it was a poster or a page of a magazine or something, and there was a Pikachu and a Piplup in Pokéballs, well, with Pokéball icons next to them, that is, the legendary dogs with Ultra Ball icons next to them, and two question marks with um, Master Ball icons next to them. Now, I thought that if the, there were going to be Master Balls, well, th those would definitely be Ubers, to top the legendary dogs at least, and I don't think Ubers would be the first would be the first Pokemon of a new generation to be introduced. So I imagine, yeah, it's got to be Lugia and Hulu. But it doesn't seem that way because in a new picture that came out today, well, there is well, there are a whole bunch of Japanese characters, but there is a new next to those Japanese characters, 
which means it's either, according to Cerebi, a new form of a Pokemon or a new Pokemon. Now, I think we can safely rule out the new forms, because new Pokemon forms are usually introduced in the middle of a generation, usually in a movie to, pr to promote um, an upcoming game or something, like, you know, for example, Sky Shaman, Origin Giratina, and Rotom and Deoxys also apply to that uh, mid-generation rule. Well, I guess there's Wormadam, but... It, it, I wouldn't really call the ground and steel forms uh, alternate forms. Uh, it's part of the entire gimmick of Wormadam. But other than that, yeah, you want to introduce alternate alternate forms of Pokémon in the middle of a generation, not in a new one, because you're already busy enough with all the new Pokémon, new evolutions. Usually, if there's a problem with a Pokémon, you're just going to evolve it. Unless it's like a legendary or something, or you've got a really cool gimmick for it, like Rotom, for example. So where does that leave us? In a freaking mess! Because on one hand, we got something that makes us believe that the two Pokémon are Uber, And on the other hand, we got uh, another thing that makes us believe that those are brand new Pokémon. And as I said, I'd be really, really surprised if they introduce the two main Ubers of the next generation so early on. I, I honestly think that if they were to make a movie about the two Ubers of the fifth generation, that they would keep it for a fifth generation movie, like what they did with Dialga and Palkia, for example. Or, since it's supposed to be a hard gold soul silver tie-in, we would get new forms of Lugia and Hu, for example. And that, I think, would not be such a good idea. Especially since, you know, those new forms aren't in Hard Gold and Soul Silver, despite the fact that the movie is supposed to be a tie-in. So I think it pretty much rules out uh, new forms for Lugia and Hu. But if that's the case, what can it be? Or maybe the Master Balls are just for show and say, saying, you know, those are brand new Pokémon, so they're even more important than the Legendary Dogs just because of that. They're brand new. No one's ever seen them before, so they're important. And we've been waiting so long for brand new 5th generation Pokémon. We've had so many bait and switches before, the latest one being that whole Ranger 3 hubbub, and that we're... I am feeling so close yet so far, so I, once again, I don't want to preempt anything, but this time it looks like it might be for real, if only because of those three letters on that, whatever it was, N-E-W, new, anyone could spell this out. So I'm really torn, on one hand I really want to believe that this will be the time we finally get something new, but at the same time I don't really feel like committing myself, even though I think I just did earlier today um, on my channel's main page, but I feel like deleting that comment because in retrospect I don't see how that would be a smart decision, especially after all the letdowns we've had over the last 18 months or so. But you know what, I'll let it be for now, and if we get any new data or something, I'll be sure to let you know and, of course, give you my opinion on the matter since it's what I do best. And my Ralts is now at level 13, and I expected to get interrupted quite a lot while talking about that in order to, you know, comment on Ralts' misadventures, but Lo and behold, I just beat the last trainer on Route 116, and it's still over half health. So, I think I can actually manage to... Yeah, you want to dig that tunnel. Bring a Pokémon with Rock Smash, as I said. Oh, can't go there. I need Cut. And, okay. Linking Rustboro and Verdanter. The project has been cancelled because of all those loud mouthed Whismers. Okay. And next special here. And I'll talk about those indentations in the wall a bit later on, but in the next video I'm gonna visit what little I can of Rust Turf Tunnel and get started on the first gym back in Rustboro.